So guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you the most useful tip on how to actually reduce your input delay here in Fortnite in Chapter 4. I'm going to show you a super simple tool, which is basically going to make it possible for any device you guys plug in to get less latency and a higher report density. And if you guys are probably wondering right now, okay, what does this all mean, guys? Well, I'm about to show you basically how you can change the pulling rate on any of your devices. Let's just say as an example that you're using a normal SK61 and your pulling rate is right now set to 125 hertz. You can actually use a specific tool to boost it up to 500 or even a thousand hertz guys which is gonna make such a huge difference in terms of milliseconds delay as you can see right now in the background 125 megahertz pulling rate is eight milliseconds of delay if you just simply utilize this tool correctly and bring it up to a thousand you can already see that it goes from eight seconds to only one millisecond delay which is an insane difference especially for a competitive game like fortnite where you have to do a lot of building guys or quick movements in general if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe right now i'm still by the way giving away free battle passes so therefore if you're subscribing you automatically entering ever any for dues let's get straight into this topic so guys and as mentioned we're going to take a look here now at this tool which i want to showcase you which is actually making it possible for us to go to 1000 megahertz pulling rate on basically any input device we got you right now this keyboard overclocking pack which contains heaters bf guys and you can get it straight up from my discord in the official fps boost packs channel just simply go in there type here into the windows search bar fps boost packs from there you can find it and get it straight up from the discord guys once you have it in here on your pc you're gonna extract it all onto your desktop and open up the tool then we're here now in the file and we're going to click under driver and then we are now have setup. And once the tool itself is launched, guys, you can see now all the devices on your PC. We're first of all going to change it here actually to keyboards. But if you have multiple ones here and you're not sure which one is yours, because it doesn't as well here show my Apex Pro right now, which I'm using, what I'm going to do is actually go into restart, guys. And now I can type on my keyboard. So I know, okay, this is my Apex Pro. You can also click here real quick on the restart, maybe spam like the Windows button and you know, okay, this has been my keyboard. What are we then going to do, guys, is make sure that the right one is selected as mentioned which is here right now the first one for me then we're gonna go under default and actually put it to a thousand megahertz pulling rate just simply put it to the highest one guys if your keyboard let's just say as an example only supports 500 megahertz it's gonna automatically put it still to the highest one possible so therefore we're gonna put it to 1000 and actually click onto install services then we can see now this small window pop up and now your keyboard is gonna be set to a thousand megahertz pulling rate which we can see here on the top guys rate says now 1000 and now all we gotta do is actually click one more time onto restart and our keyboard is now gonna restart here on our pc guys we should also see maybe if you have like rgb running that it's gonna like flash up for a second and now our keyboard is actually on 1000 megahertz pulling rate which is awesome you can do this for as many devices as you want guys and if by the way let's just say as an example you click onto restart and your mouse shouldn't work you just simply have to plug it into another usb port or restart the mouse itself if it's wireless as mentioned you can do this for all your devices which i already did for my g pro super light so i'm chilling there guys but yeah here right now on my keyboard i just want to demonstrate it live and now we're basically done here so guys and here one more time now i'm going to show you how it's going to look like let's just now that we're going to put our keyboard here to fast mega it's pulling rate everything is set up we're going to click on to restart and you can see you now that your RGB should once flicker like this and that's how you know exactly that you actually change it to 1000 megahertz pulling rate if let's just say as an example I'm going to do the same thing now here actually with my mouse I'm going to put it to 1000 megahertz pulling rate and I'm going to click on to restart you can now see that my mouse basically doesn't work here the light on the bottom is off and all that stuff all I got to do is just simply put it off and put it back on and now once I want to use it, it's already working again on my PC. So therefore, I just want to clarify this, guys, because some people the last time when I showed this like a bunch of weeks, months ago, I don't even know anymore. A lot of people were commenting down below, yo, my mouse doesn't turn on anymore. My keyboard doesn't turn on anymore. You can basically simply unplug it, guys. This will already do the magic. That's how you can like force restart it sort of if the tool can do it, you know, for some keyboards or some mice, it sometimes like bugs out a little bit. So therefore... This is just like a small trick. Other than that, you can also plug your USB into another port on the backside of your PC. This will also do the magic. And now we're already done here. And I hope that this was helpful. So guys, and I'm also, of course, going to show you how you can check if any of the devices, let's just say now, as an example, your keyboard is actually set to the highest megahertz pulling rate possible. As you can see right now, we just changed the pulling rate for my Apex Pro 2023 edition. So therefore, realistically, it should be set to a thousand megahertz. What you're going to do is go into my Discord. And under keyboard inspector guys, you will find a tool which can actually showcase you or basically test any device if it's actually set to a thousand megahertz pulling rate. So therefore we're gonna click onto it guys and it should be called then keyboard inspector. And we just simply gonna extract it all onto a desktop. We're gonna have these three files here guys and we're going to click on the exit itself until this tool now opens up. And here now basically guys, we have a tool which can make it possible for us to test our keyboard. We're going to click in the first place onto start recording and slightly press all the keys on our keyboard. for around like five to 10 seconds, guys. 
And now we get all the necessary data here on our keyboard inspector. And what we now going to do is click actually on the analyze. And then we have pulling rate fitter. Click onto it, guys. And we'll tell you definitely 1000 hertz at least, guys. Now we're going to do the same thing as well with different keyboards and have a look. Here right now, guys, we have one of my custom keyboards, which kind of... And here right now, guys, we have one of my custom keyboards, which I actually haven't tested even if it has at least a thousand megahertz pulling rate. I'm just going to assume this one is probably going to be something like maybe 250, 500 megahertz, something like that. But let's actually find out. Yeah, we're going to click again on to start recording and start pressing all the keys. Again, for around 10 seconds, guys. Super quick. So now we got all the data here again in the keyboard inspector itself and we're going to click on the analyze pulling rate fitter and let's have a look. It's actually running at a thousand megahertz. It's actually really surprising. Oh my God, I didn't know that. But yeah, there you can see it guys. You can basically test any keyboard with this tool guys, which is super, super easy and it makes it really convenient. If you just simply want to know, hey, is my GK running at a thousand megahertz pulling rate? Am I actually on more input delay than I should be? With this tool, you can check it out guys. And I hope that this was helpful.